Hello, stargazers. I'm Dave. And I'm Rachel. Today, we're diving into the wonderfully wacky world of ancient astronomy. Let's kick off with Anaximenes, 6th century BCE, a big thinker. He's like, let's put stars in a giant sphere and spin it around the Earth. Classic Anaximenes. But wait, there's more. When things didn't quite align... They just kept adding spheres. Stars, sphere. Planets, another sphere. Don't forget the sun and moon. Can't leave them floating. Nope, put them in spheres too. And then some said, hey, what if the universe is a giant calendar? Look, Dave, I can see the holy fire. Enter Eudoxus, 4th century BCE, the sphere maniac, up to 27 nested spheres. Talk about overkill. He would have made more, but... Occam's, Occam's razor. razor. Sorry, Eudoxus. Simplicity cuts deep. So what did we learn? That ancient astronomy was like an onion. Layers upon layers, and it might make you cry. But hey, they were onto something. They knew the universe was more than meets the eye. True that. And it took centuries to peel back those layers and see the universe as we do now. Thanks for joining our cosmic comedy tour. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more starry shenanigans.